Hello everyone, it is uh, time for another pro project here. Uh, today we're going to make a little multiplication table, or rather, uh, you're going to make one. I've already actually put it together. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through what this is. Now I've got the code right here, and you'll see it's not dreadfully long or anything. Uh, we have two loops, a little print statement, and you'll notice something new there. Uh, and we need one little include at the top more than we normally do. Uh, and this is just setting the width of each little item that we have there. Uh, if we don't do that, uh, it'll look a little wonky. Uh, but let me just show you what this looks like as I run it. And I'll explain each little line. Now this right here is your multiplication table. And you see it's very nice and neat. Now, if I were to just get rid of this line here and leave it as is, we'll take a little look and see how different it looks. You see, it's it's rather smushed together. Now, we could get uh, a similar effect with spacing out and doing some other stuff. This is just kind of the easiest way to do it. So I'll set it back. All right. So this IO manip. IO input output manipulation. This is just setting the size of what we're printing out, essentially. It's assigning, you know, three spaces for every little item there. Uh, so when it runs, you'll see right here, I've got one, two, three spaces. One, two, three spaces. And the same is true when we get over here. We know one, two, three spaces. Uh, and we, we, we make sure we reserve three spaces for every single thing here. Uh, and actually there's two spaces for this one are in the front. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, if I try to make this a little bigger, it'll start smushing these together because I made the width three. I'd have to make the width four uh, if I get any bigger than this. Uh, so you kind of see how that works. Now, well, actually I'll leave that up because it'll be easy to demonstrate here. So, First things first, we've got our first loop. This loop right here is effectively printing off our line going across here. Or I, or I should say it's controlling uh, the line going down, rather. This one is controlling the line going across. Notice there's no end line here at all, right? So we go over here. We start, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this, this is essentially just one times one, one times two, one times three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on, so forth. Uh, that's what that is there. Now I could put another little heading above this and to the side if I need to, but this is more than illustrative enough. Uh, if we go here, uh, well, we have two times one, two times two, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, 2 times 5, and we go down. So this first one here is controlling the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 going down. Then we come in. So we start off with 1, and this is going to run this loop. Now this loop is going to go 9 times, and notice there's no end line inside this loop. It's outside. So it's going to print i times j. So the first time we do this, i is 1, j is 1 through 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then this ends, we go to the next line here. This is now 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 6, 8, all the way to 18. And then we end the line, moving us to 3. And that becomes 3. And then we just keep doing this. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, because 9 is where I set stop. Now, if I had taken this out and changed it to a 10 or something like that, of course, my thing would progressively get bigger. Uh, but with the way we set it, it's a little... Whoop, that's got to be 0. It's going to look a little wonky. You'll see. My third one there is kind of smooshed together. Uh, so in order to fix that, I would probably need to set this up 
maybe with a four width to make it look a little nicer like so and now I could probably go you know uh, let's not go too large but let's say 15 by 15 or something there we go and now I can make this kind of whatever size I want uh, depending on how big the width is and various other things so this is your basic multiplication table. It, again, uses nested loops. I think I've probably mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. You'll notice that I use I and then J. Now, again, I is, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be I. I can make it whatever variable I want. And the same is true for J. Uh, it can be, you know, like loop one or loop two. It's just historically I and J. If you go to any programming class, a loop, for loop is particular, it's, it's almost always I and J. Uh, and that's just simply, it's a remnant from the beginnings of programming when those letters were, you know, the first real free letters we were sure we could use. Other letters may have been used or reserved for other things. Uh, so every loop sense is I, J. Another loop inside here would be a K, uh, just to kind of give you an idea. But it doesn't necessarily have to be. Now, that is your quick rundown of the multiplication table. As usual, if you have any questions or concerns or anything, just let me know.